I'm Ryan Janke. Welcome to Pardon Me. Are you old? Are you trying to figure out what these kids are talking about when they're your grandkids and kids are running around your house saying words you've never heard in your life? Well, we're here to take care of that. I've got my friend Emma here with me, and we are going to give you a new vocabulary. All right, Emma, what's today's word? What's hip and happening right now? You ate. You ate. Okay. So, like, this is just like lunch, right? You're asking somebody what they had for lunch? No, it's um, a term for telling someone they did good. They did good? Mm Mm-hmm. So why don't you just say, hey, you did good? It's cooler. To say you ate? Yeah. All right. I need, need like, I need some context here, right? So uh, you're you're playing basketball. Mm Mm-hmm. And you you drain a three. Lakers down in trouble quickly. Bryant three from the corner. Yeah. And you walk to the sideline. Coach calls a timeout. You walk to the sideline, and one of your teammates says, "You ate." You can use it in different ways, like you ate that three up, kind of like that. <laughs> you ate that three yeah. up. Okay. Or like if you're on a dance floor and then you get off, and someone's like, "You ate that dance floor up," like. Okay, you ate that dance floor up. Okay, I think I think I get it. I think I think I'm down with this. So I want to use this properly okay. in a sentence now. So here at the radio station, Don Haney gets done with his newscast. And I can say, Don, you just ate that news up. That, that's good. That would work? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. You got a, a new phrase. You ate. So if your grandkids or kids are running around and telling each other they ate something up, it doesn't mean they raided your fridge. They are happy with what's going on, and somebody did something really good. Emma, thanks. Thanks.